Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing an introduction into logarithms. Basically, what they are and how to calculate them. Uh, first, let's look at this function here, 10 to the power of a, because basically logarithms are inverses of these exponential functions. So if you t do 10 to the power of 0, it's going to be 1. 10 to the power of 1 is 10. 10 squared is 100. 10 cubed is 1,000. Okay, so in the inverse of this function is, well, if you put b into the func function, you put 1 into the function, you get should get 0. And 10 would give you 1, just the opposite. You can just swap the x and the y values here, right? Okay, so the inverse of this exponential function is this. And we call that log base 10 of x is the function. Okay, so f of x is 10 to the power of x. Then the inverse is log base 10 of x. This is how you read it. And this is what it looks like. The notation is a bit off-putting, I suppose. But log base 10 of x is the inverse of 10 to the power of x. And often we leave this 10 out, and on your calculator as well, you, if you just type log x, it means log base 10 by default. Okay, so if we look at exponential form here in this little table, um, that means so 10 cubed is 1,000. That means log base 10 of 1,000 is 3. Okay, because these values are swapped. 3, 1,000, 1,000, 3. Uh, log base 10 of 10,000 is 4, because this gives you 10,000. This gives you 100,000. So log base 10 of 100,000 gives you 5. That means 10 to the power of 5 is 100,000. 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000, and so forth. This here is called the base on the log, and the base to the power of this number equals this number, because they're inverses. So e squared, well, uh, oh, by the way, this is all log base e, and we have another symbol for that too, that's ln. Okay, so ln... 148.43413 is the same as log base e. And e to the power of 5 equals 148.413, and the digits go on forever, actually. This means if you do ln of this number, you should get back 5, and this should give you 4 and 3 and 2. Okay, on your calculator, I'll show you. On the calculator, you... Uh, you just do ln. ln stands for the natural log, but it just means base e. So ln, for instance, 148.413 equals, sorry, I got a bit of a calculator glitch here. Let me just reboot it real quick. So ln uh, 148. Point four one three gives you approximately five, right? Okay, this is the only thing in the formula booklet that about logs. A to the power of x equals b means x equals log base a of b. So that's what's in the formula booklet. Okay, let's uh, just answer a couple of these questions here. So you got the model y equals ten to the power of t. Find the number of people initially affected, that's when t equals 0, right? So y equals 10 to the power of 0, which equals 1. Calculate how many people are infected within 5 days. Um, within 5 days, well, it's t equals 5. So y equals 10 to the power of 5, which equals a 1 with 5 zeros, or 100,000. How long it takes 300,000 people to be infected? Okay, well, let's take a look at that. There's one way we could do it. We could do it with the graph. But we can solve this equation by doing 10 to the power of t equals 3 million. We can solve this by graphing. But we can also solve it with logs because the inverse of this is a log. So using this formula in the formula book, t equals log base 10 of 3 million. So let's do that on our calculator. Um, you 
give us a log button here, and log means base 10 by default. So 3 million gives us uh, 6.48, 6.48 years. Okay, so you can use logs to solve these simple equations like this. You can also solve that by graphing. Here's a couple of log graphs. Uh, here's log base e of x, which equals natural log of x, by the way. That's the symbol for log base, and this equals log of x. Or sorry. That's right, log, just log with a 10. On your calculator, you would type in those things, right? Um, yes, so you can see e to the x is this black line right here, and then the natural log of x is totally reflected in the line y equals x. Like this point here goes right across to here. Exactly reflected across the line y equals x. Okay. Um, anyway, let's get the domain range. Uh, discuss the domain ranges. Let's do the domain range of these guys. The domain range of both these functions. Well, the domain is for the exponential functions. x is all real numbers because x can be anything. But the range, we've got that horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So it's y greater than 0. Okay, now let's look at these log functions down here. The, if you've got an inverse, the domain and range are like flipped. So you have x greater than 0, which makes sense in the graph look. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So there's, you can, well, basically you can't substitute an x equals 0. But anything bigger than 0 is fine. But the y values go on up forever, so it's y is all real numbers. And the domain and range are totally flipped here, right? Okay. This, uh, uh, this y-intercept is 0, 1, and the x-intercept of a log is 1, 0. That's why log of 1 is 0, and natural log of 1 is also 0. Right, because e to the power of 0 equals 1, and 10 to the power of 0 equals 1, both equal to 1. Log 0 is undefined, because we, you know, undefined. You can see from our graph, and from our domain, that x is greater than 0, so you can only log a positive number. Okay, let's look at a couple of things here. Um, uh, so these are just typings into your calculator, so that's easy enough. But we can rewrite equations using this little formula from our formula booklet as well. So if this is base 10, then you can rewrite it as a base 10 exponent. Okay, 10 to the power of 3 equals x, according to this thing in our formula booklet. So you can actually solve for x. x equals 1,000. Here, the base is 10, so 10 to the power of 75 equals x. So that's a 1 with 75 zeros, isn't it? Uh, that's actually that, actually that doesn't make sense. I made a mistake there. Of course, that's a, a log. So this is an exponent. The inverse is a log. Log base 10 of 75 equals x. So you can get that on your calculator. And here, log base e of 15 equals x. In other words, x equals ln... 15, natural log of 15. So let's get that value. Ln 15 is 2.71. And if you want log of 75, you just click on log 75. 1.88. Okay, that's how logs work. Next time we're going to see uh, some log models.